every 62 minutes, someone in this country dies as a direct result of an eating disorder. Today, I ate. Fork to mouth, chew, swallow. Anybody who tells you that this is easy has never stood close enough to an anorexic frailty. People seem to think that the answer is as simple as telling me to eat, and maybe it should be. I write it on my bathroom mirror every single night, and I always say, today, I will. But anorexia is a delusion that lives in my mirror. It looks back at me and says, you know, if you were just a little bit thinner, if you had just a bit more control, maybe I could love you. As a tapeworm, tattooed across my waistline, I believe only I can see. Phantom taste of all the things I was told I would never be good enough to have. It's a lie you choose to believe. Rib cage. Wrist, femur. He said he loved the curve of my jawbone. The way that my spine would rise to meet him and I loved. The pain of loving him. Tangible like hunger. Hollow like wing bones, feathers, shoe boxes. Who would choose this? Me. I developed a fascination with birds. Raptors. Hollow winged creatures balancing hunger with a fear of falling, failing. Hunger is as much about control as it is about need eating. Is the automatic response of a body in motion? How could I, when I am lying here stagnant and nauseous, shamed for trading fleeting moments burning in the sun for raging like supernovas, broken winged angels, butterflies pinned to pages, blue morpho gone pale and sallow for the fear of flying too high. Hungry kittens growling in alleyways. Hunger is an act of desperation. It's the last whisper of you are too goddamn beautiful for this from the lips of a failing god. It's a lot. Like falling in love. Obsession, desire, control, and it's painful. A lot like falling in love. And so you hit the bottom of that spiral and realize you are starving. They don't make an awareness ribbon for this. It happens slowly, creeps up on you like frail shadows, clumps of hair in your shower. They will tell you that anorexia is only fatal in the most extreme cases, that it isn't really a disease so much as a cry for attention. But the truth is that anorexia is the slowest, most painful suicide you could ever wish for yourself. At 85 pounds, a five foot six woman's kidneys will fail her. At 72, her liver and heart will start functioning. I have seen the view from my deathbed three separate times, but today, today I ate. Today, I told the monster that lives in my mirror to shut the fuck up. It felt so much like falling in love. Jessica Keen. All those scores up, judges. Good, good, good. You're fast, you're fast.